Have you been up here for 30 minutes? Me. They would have to do... So who told you that there's a limit? It was on a website when I said there's construction.
announcements. Like have some silence and some attention. The first one pertains to these windows. If you wish to take anything back with you, command to. Like sunglasses, cell phones, hands, arms, small children, spouses. Please keep those inside the train at all times. Next one pertains to the center row that runs throughout the train. That is the conductor's aisle. The reason why it's called the conductor's aisle is because only the conductor can be in it. So please do not stay in it or cross it. This train can stop in less than three seconds. If you're in that aisle, you'll learn what it's like to fly. Find the fun part, but the crash landing, not so much. The last one is please make either of us or the engineer aware of any emergency so that, that way we can get you the help that you need. Right now, I will be coming around with a head count, so if you could please keep that out clear for me, that would be great.
are looking the wrong way. So from now on, we're going to be referring to the two-seat side and the three-seat side.
previously it was taller than Niagara Falls, it said it was higher. We are currently at 8,300 feet. That's approximately 8,000 feet higher than Niagara Falls. That little joke right there is why we call it Mini Ha Ha Falls. <laughs> Right now is a great time to introduce the crew. We up front, we have our engineer Dakota. Say hi Dakota. Hi Dakota. He'll be taking us up to the summit and back. Lucky for you guys, you have two conductors today. I am Sadira and this is Abby. Say hi Abby.
2, it leads to the oldest hydroelectric plant in this side of the Mississippi. Power Springs built in in the 1900s. Thank you. 
to be some of the largest land organisms because they're all connected by one root system. If you rub on them, you can get this fine white powder. That's the SPS of two. The bark has some medicinal properties as well. So, if you're walking around, you get a headache, you can take two aspen and call me in the morning. In fact, the largest land organism is an aspen grow on the Colorado and Utah border. Unfortunately, Demi 
along Montgomery Pike, never stood in the mound that bears his name. It would be later pioneers and explorers that came after him that would name this mound Pike's Peak. But before that, there was a mountaineer named Edwin James who named this mound James Peak. In a hundred years before that, it was called El Capitan, or the leader, by Spanish conquistadors. And about 800 to 1,000 years before that, the youth nation called this mountain Taba, or Sun Mountain.
college professor from Massachusetts who took a carriage ride up to the summit that in some places parallels our tracks. When she came back down, she, she said to write a poem about the amazing things that she saw that, along the way and at the summit. That poem was later said to a piece of music called Materna, and that music is what we know today as America the Beautiful. That poem was written by Catherine Lee Bates. Coming up on the three seat side is going to be one of the points that we believe inspired her to write America the Beautiful. Distinguishing feature is 
the rail that runs through the center of the track. That is called the rack rail. It has teeth in it that mesh with the cogs that are under the train. This rack rail and the cogs are what enables us to go up these steep inclines of up to 26%. A regular railroad can only go up inclines of up to 4%. Other than that, we are a standard gauge railroad with the distance between our running rails being four feet in and eight and a half inches. The running railroads are what keeps its balance and holds the weight of the train. There are only two here in America. The other one is in Washington. It goes up Excuse me. It is in New Hampshire and it goes up Mount Washington. If you have yet to take a drink of water, right now is a good time to do so.
second oldest race in America, second only to the Indianapolis 500. This Sunday, the race is celebrating its 100th anniversary. In 2018, a French race car driver named Romain Dumas broke the eight minute mark with a time of seven minutes and 57 seconds. He was driving an experimental Volkswagen IDR.
arrived here on this train, you're in the right spot. But if you drove up here, You really want some food, don't you? Okay. Well, look at, see the marmot. <laughs>